Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends, welcome back. Ah, that's got to stop, I've got to change that. Uh, thanks for joining me, my name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff and nail stuff and the stuff she does with nails is done with. <gasps> nail stuff and stuff for nails. How are you all? I hope you're all doing fabulously. I have been sent a Pop Grip Lips from Pop Socket with a mission to do a style video. Now, not one to take a mirror selfie in mum jeans and a crop top. We're going to style it with some nails. <laughs> so this is a lip balm Pop Grip. I already have one. They're so cool. You get this little um, lip balm, obviously. Uh, and it pops in there and then obviously you have your lip balm on the go on your pop grip on the back of your phone so I, oh my goodness lavender and vanilla never never thought of those together it smells amazing it smells so good so obviously i had to try it out um and i wiggled my finger around a lot just to kind of warm it up um and put some on and i know that you're not supposed to eat this stuff but i licked my lips and it tasted amazing not saying you should eat it. Don't eat the lip balm. But look, it matches my phone as well. So I'll be switching out my current pop socket for that. And we're going to do a nail design um, to match them. And it's got this little clear bottom thing, which is new. I, I know my pop sockets and those clear things, clear um, bases are new. So for this, I'm going to use lavender, no, French lavender and lavender fields because I thought, you know, it has to be done. Uh, and we're going to start with lavender fields and we're going to do an ombre so i'm going to put that at the top uh, and before curing i will put french lavender at the bottom and then i'm going to take um an ombre brush and ombre them obviously <laughs> um so this ombre brush is from i think this is my new one it's from born pretty uh, born pretty store i've got a bunch of discount codes in the description to this video for some places. I have a discount code for pop sockets as well. So you can get 15% off with the code BBJOCO. Uh, and I'll put that in the description as well. So you don't have, don't try and remember it. It's fine. I'll put it in the description. So I was choosing between those two glitters. I liked both of them, but I'm going with the Parma Violets, which is the one on the right, just cause it's, um, it's got more colors in it. Uh, so I, I've cured the ombre and I did two coats and then I've put a coat of base coat down, just a thin coat, and I'm going to use that to stick the glitter onto. So I'm going to make it nice and compact at the top um, and then uh, put a bit less on my brush and fade it down. As you, as you put the glitter at the top and work your brush down, obviously it starts sticking to the base coat, so it kind of fades itself out. Uh, but then I'm picking up a bit less and then just bringing that down. And I'm always pulling bits down, you can see. I'm sort of doing a very gentle pat and pull just to create this fade. Uh, and then I'll use my brush to make sure everything's as flat as possible. And on a, on a client, um, I would get a cuticle stick and sort of outline their cuticle area to push in any glitter uh, so that it's nice, smooth, and then flatten it. Uh, and then pop that in the lamp and give it a full cure. In you go. There you are. And then I'm going to top it with diamond gloss, of course, of course. And you could top with super gloss, which is a rubber, a rubber base, a rubber top coat. Um, and then it wouldn't have any sort of bumpy bits, but I like to buff anything that's had glitter on. So I thought I may as well just use diamond gloss and then buff it. Um, even if I do super gloss, sometimes I like to give a buff anyway, just so that it's completely smooth and then I'm going to top it again and now it's nice and smooth and shiny and sparkly and delicious um, and that's our first nail done. Donezo! How is everybody? I hope you're all okay. I am buzzing because I've got two weeks of Roland Garros or as I would butcher it Roland Garros uh, coming up so I'm super excited about that. Uh, and that's our first one, our ombre. I've kind of covered up the ombre a bit with the glitter, so you wouldn't need to do an ombre, I suppose, but I, the glitter was an afterthought. Um, so I'm now taking French lavender. I went to school on... I went to school? I went to school. <laughs> 
I went to France on a school trip once um, and we ate snails and they were delicious. My friend and I were the only ones who liked them so everyone gave us theirs and we just ate a shit ton of them. They were so good. They were so good. Haven't eaten them since. Don't know if we do, if we have them over here. Probably somewhere, somewhere fancy. Um, right, where are we? Snails, no, nails. <laughs> I have done two coats of the French lavender, cured them, and I've done a coat of foil it, which is a foil gel, and I'm curing it for two minutes, and I'm taking this foil um, from Diamond Glitters and Gel Perfection. Everything in this video is from there. Um, which you can get at diamondglitters.co.uk and you can use code TEAMDG for a discount. So my foil gel, foil, 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 la, 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 foil gel, foil, foil. I, why do I try and say the L in things all the time? Foil, foil. Right, shut up. Uh, I've cured it for two minutes and I've, it's stuck to my blue tack. Um, and then rubbed the foil onto there. I always rub excessively with foils because even though it works every time, I'm still scared. Um, still a bit, still a bit scared of foils. <laughs> um, so that transferred perfectly, and now I'm topping with diamond gloss. And this is what I do on people: I turn their nails upside down and take the cap of the free edge underneath as much as possible and then once they've cured their hands I get them to turn them upside down and cure the underside where we've over capped the free edge and it makes the world of difference because foils when they go onto the free edge it can wear easily because whatever you put on top of the foil hasn't got anything to grip to it hasn't got a tacky layer or a buffed surface it's just trying to grip to the shiny foil so um I overcap, and that that that's the reason why they can wear easily. Um, so I overcap, cure the underside, and it makes such a difference. So if you do have foils that peel at the ends, then try that for sure. Uh, I'm doing the same with this nail, but I'm taking a different part of the foil. So we've done the foil gel for two minutes um, over French lavender, and I'm going to plonk, place. That's nicer. Place that there. Uh, sometimes I use a dry lint wipe, lint free wipe to rub foils on, but because this is only on part of the nail, obviously I don't want to rub onto the tacky area that's not got the foil on. Uh, oh, look, I am taking it, but just making sure I don't go on the area that's not got the foil. Peel that off. I do get, get rid of that bit of rogue glitter and then top it with diamond gloss. Of course, of course. Do you know what? Foils are just amazing, aren't they? I mean, I couldn't have painted that. I wouldn't have wanted to paint that. I don't like painting flowers because I'm not a flowery girl. Um, but that, oh, it's just so good and so quick and so easy. So I'm now doing one that is all lavender fields. This is one of those colors that just sits in the drawer, minding its own business, but is secretly coconuts gorgeous. Why do you say coconuts for crazy? Like coconuts and bananas. Bananas are probably thinking, we're not crazy. We're proper chilled. Can't even bother to stand up straight. <laughs> coconuts, though. If coconuts were people, they would be crazy motherfuckers. Um, so I've done two coats of lavender fields. I've cured them and I'm taking super base. Super base! And I'm going to use that to adhere the crystals. I knew I wanted to do just sort of a straight line down the middle because I'm so creative with my crystal placement. Um, and then I added some caviar beads as well. All of these are from Diamond Glitters. Um, but as I moved them up because they were sort of falling down, I thought, oh, those caviar beads made a little triangle. So we we, we went with it uh, and I will just fiddle around with those until I'm happy. And then I added some caviar beads in between the crystals as well. And then that will go into the lamp and we will top it. So that will cure and then we'll top it with diamond gloss. And I top over the caviar beads the little triangle of them at the top and bottom I top over those as well just to obviously to stop them coming off but also to seal in their color sort of thing so they won't um, yellow or they won't lose their color um, but obviously you don't want to top over the crystals because it will lose its facets and it won't sparkle but I am topping over over the caviar beads and then we'll cure that uh, and get on to the last one let me know down below if you've been to France and eaten snails escargot or would you 
eat snails in France. When in France, as the saying doesn't go. <laughs> we were, I think, 12 when we went. And naturally, being told we're going to France, we thought, F yes, we're going to Disneyland. We could not have been more wrong. <laughs> we went to the Mont Saint-Michel and we went to the Bayeux Tapestry. Now, don't get me wrong, very impressive tapestry, very long. But when you're 12, it was the most boring thing on the planet. We didn't go to Disneyland. I guess that's what happens when you go to France with a convent school. <laughs> we went on another trip to France. Oh, I'm, I'm doing a base coat on top of these colours and I'm leaving it wet and I'm going to add some glitter. I didn't know what to do. So we just threw some, threw some glitter at the situation. Um, yeah, we went on another trip a few years later and on the way back, didn't go to Disneyland in that trip either. <laughs> What's going on? Um, on the way back, we had a weather warning. Um, so all these girls were being very dramatic. Like, we're going to die on the ferry. Um, and everyone was inside and I went to the back of the ferry by myself. It was pitch black. The sea was really choppy and it was pissing down with rain. And I was listening to the Titanic soundtrack from the film. And it was the track where they were out looking for um, bodies and survivors in the water, the creepy kind of... Just that. So I was at the back of the ferry by myself, pitch black. Sea was a mess. Uh, I was peeing down with rain. <laughs> and then suddenly on my Walkman, Walkman, uh, I think it was a Discman actually, through this creepy music came, Hello! Is anybody alive out there? <laughs> my pants. It was so scary. <laughs> but I loved it. It was so creepy. <laughs> um, but I, I got called back in because uh, it was too dangerous to be outside, apparently. <laughs> it's so fun. Love creeping myself out by myself in the dark, looking for Titanic survivors in the English Channel. <laughs> Anyway, I I buffed I buffed the topped glitter just to make it nice and smooth. And it would have looked really cool with a matte top coat because you could see all the colours from the glitter. Hello, hello, hello. Um, from the glitter, but we have topped it with shiny diamond gloss. And that is the last one. This is our final look to go with our lavender and vanilla pop grip lips from Pop Sockets. Don't forget you can use code BB Joco for 15% off your pop sockets it expires on june the 12th but always check the descriptions of my videos for the latest discount codes for a bunch of places you can follow miss joe's on instagram and tiktok and you can subscribe for lots more videos i appreciate you being here i'll see you in the next one bye, -bye.